mm-hmm. most likely when you when you end a date, and I've I've told guys to do this before. Is like if, if you don't think something's working out, man, like end the date and go get with something that's going to be more productive. That's the whole reason for spinning plates. I mm-hmm. made that example as far back as like 2013, 2011, right? Spinning plates is not a, just about like, oh, you got to bang anything on two legs, you know, nope. it's notch count, notch count, notch count. Like that's the only way you can, you know, be a man, right? That's not, that's not, not what plate, plate theory is about. And it's rare. How many guys didn't hear like, in her, let's say she's dated a hundred guys, not even slept, just dated. Mm-hmm. How many of those guys do you think actually walked out during the date? Yeah. Probably one. <laughs> yeah. It's rare as shit to have standards, man. First day, rare yeah, as shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, uh, and again, uh, props to, to, uh, to Tom Likas, he used to say this too. If a woman breaks out her cell phone in the middle of a date, it's like it's me calling her. So, so end the date right there, right? It's it's a it's a it's another guy that she's setting up. And when you flip that script, when you're the guy that says, you know what, I was hiking today, I'm a little bit tired, so I'll I'll we'll, we'll pick this up. I'll circle back to you. <laughs> Could he not think of a lamer excuse though? It's like oh, I had, like yeah. just say I got work in the morning. That's the standard. I got work early in the morning. I have to go. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I work at two thirty in the morning. I, I have wash to leave. my hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and then I'm I'm sure she's not used to. Yeah, I think you're right, right? I'm sure she's not used to that. But that is, and if you want to call that direct game, if you want to call that like you know dumping a be having the foresight to mm-hmm. dump a time waster like that, then yeah, yeah, exactly. Go do exactly that. That's what I keep saying. Is like one of the reasons why I talked about plate theory from the earliest days is it's pragmatism. It's not punishment. It's just oh. being pragmatic. It's just like respect, self love, throw any nowhere. term you want in there. They all work. Yeah, this Dignity. is going nowhere. And um, my uh, one of my plates is getting off for shift at uh, nine o'clock. So yeah, I'm feeling kind of tired. <laughs> you know, yeah. Time to go to bed, right? If you don't you, even it, have to be for a new plate, dude. I've done it before. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to play some Call of Duty. I just left. <laughs> just oh, go. busy. Yeah. Yeah, any excuse is fine as long as you're valuing your time enough to put it towards the thing you want to do. And if the girl wants your time, then she has to be more better to you than the, whatever it is you want to go to. It's like training a dog. You know how those people right. in the dog park, they always yell at their dogs and they're misbehaving and they're like, my dog never comes. Mm-hmm. You're like, yeah, it's because you just made yourself an asshole. If you make yourself more fun than whatever the dog's screwing around with, he'll come to you when you call him. Right, right. So that's the, I guess training dogs. Every guy needs, get greyhounds, guys. Right. People Apparently, greyhounds make your red pill. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> matter if they're Italian or they're full size. Yeah. <laughs> the compact version. <laughs> is there any more of this you want me to put on there or is that good? It's up to you. It's whatever you want to do for your topic, right? Um, like yeah, I said, it can stand I, I have on its own. one more thing that I want you to opine on that I think is related Ooh. to what we're talking about today. So let me yank this one out real quick and then right. pull that real fast let's see this ratchet doing ratchet things. no no it's not a ratchet this is not no now we're going to get technical because i have seen um oh wait what is this hold on this is a good one thanks for that 20 bucks uh ghosted on a girl <laughs> okay a month later uh girl a a month later girl b her friend decided to teach me a lesson not a huge um loss uh waited at a local bar for about 10 minutes before bailing the next day girl comes clean didn't even reply which probably pissed them off more (laughs) does that sound to you like a guy like a girl that's not invested yeah to me that sounds like a girl that's like strong what is that strong emotions negative as long as they're strong yeah yeah girl a yes yeah Yeah. most likely yeah it's there's i think there's a a vindictiveness that especially within the sisterhood like oh i'll Mm -hmm. get one of my sisters to go help me out and we'll play it yeah we'll we'll trick him we'll we'll turn him into a rube you know yeah i've had that dude the first chapter in my book that girl that i slept with that i forgot i'd even met before turns out she was a roommate of the single mom in there from melissa and that that first time sleeping with me is just like to because she was pissed off at her roommate there. It was the only reason she was into me. It didn't matter any of the game I ran. Mm-hmm. It was just one of those funny little epiphanies. Like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So girls getting mad at you is not, or mad at you is not necessarily a, a deal breaker. Cool. Well, we'll get invested in you and be OCD about you. Yeah. You know? That's, and that's, I don't, you want to, you want to talk about like uh, sex that, is, like validational versus transactional sex. A, a mm-hmm. girl that is like, and maybe she's psycho, right? But like, that's a, that's a chick who's invested in you. That's a chick who yeah. wants. That's to genuine have, desire. That is definitely <laughs> genuine desire. You, you got to be very <laughs> careful of that. You yeah. got you to gotta curate that desire, but careful be, what you ask for. There, there it is. <laughs> yeah, you can get it. It's just 
not very healthy and or could could be very unhealthy but nope but i know that now <laughs> yes and i know what the signs and i'm not falling for it again <laughs> right right and people yeah. people think i have a real problem with like uh mode one or i have a problem with like direct game i don't i know that it works for some guys but as you were saying before here is playing the game right mm -hmm. this is what this is playing the game the guy who was the the second guy in this example the six foot five lawyer um that guy was playing the game. He's playing the game with her. And you know what? He, in fact, he played the game and he played it the right way, according to even indirect game. He's like, you know what? I'm done with this, this time waster. And this is me. See you later. Thanks, yep. but no thanks. You know, and he didn't say it in those words. It was actually like very well delivered. I would, I, I oh, should was say. Brilliant. Yeah, it was a, a d brilliantly delivered. But that's like, I, you know, I keep telling guys, it's like women don't want to be told that they're playing a the game. They want to play the game. Mm -hmm. And if that's so, if that's the case, play better than she does. And if you want to say, hey, I'm not going to waste my time with a dead end, then you get out of it. Yeah, act very good. And here is a great example of a guy pragmatically exiting, uh, ejecting from what is clearly she's she's nuts. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you know, clearly she's insane. And the guy picked up on that and he goes, oh, look at the time. <laughs> 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 and played the game and got out. He didn't say, okay, uh, are you DTF? No. Okay, well, let him out. Like, they, yeah. that, there was none of that. And as you were saying before, you know, like like guys like Fresh and guys, and I, they know I criticize them on this, so I'll do it again, is that they they should know better than what what they got slapped with. Okay? They should, they, there's no reason on planet Earth that Myron Gaines needs to, needed to do what he did. Right? Yeah. I, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. You want me to smack? Yeah, exactly. You want me to smack him? There's a smack. Okay. Didn't need to do that, but was very efficient, was very on point the whole time. Isn't that what, what we're talking about? Isn't Jumbotron that Jumbotron rule, man? Roycey had that back in 2014. And yeah. I know you know that article. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was like, that's a perfect example. I love Roycey and you are such good compliments because you read your top level stuff, but then exactly. Roycey's got some very in the trenches yeah. stuff that kind of maps your stuff to human interaction and i just find it just a good really writer too he's a very yeah. good writer i know people and he are... actually unlike unlike rivlino and those guys he's actually had sex so when he talks you can know there's yeah, something behind yeah, it yeah exactly <laughs> yeah you, and you could tell that from from his his game like savvy i guess oh, yeah. but again it's like you, you can you know still excuse me play the game in fact i expect i hope you can i hope you can play better most guys just simply don't have the patience for it that's, that's why it's, it's fun yeah, exactly. And that's why like that's why direct game is so appealing to guys. It's like, oh, you're are you down to fuck? No. Okay, well then look at the time, right? That's mm -hmm. that's the whole thing. There's no finesse, there's no game, there's no like women want that the chemical rush that comes from trying to figure you out. Dude, they imagine want, telling your greyhounds, hey, I'll take I'll give you a ride to the other side of the park, hop in. Mm -hmm. I'd rather run, thanks. Mm -hmm. But most that's how I look at it. Well, first of all, they either they don't have the mentality for it or they don't have the patience for it. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, who wants to? Who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Funny who enough, the all these guys to... rambling about Focus stoicism. Yeah. yeah. All the stoics. Yeah, I got no patience for this. Well, maybe keep reading that stoicism then. Yeah. You'll learn a little. Yeah. And, you'll be, and, then, and then you'll hit me up when you're 45 years old and go, Rollo, Ro, I'm still a virgin. How do I get the girls? <laughs> you're the dude that told me, like, you know, like 10 years ago how you were, you know, done with the game all right uh, girls can't see the greatness of me then i'm just gonna wait over here in the corner until you do yeah wish you luck <laughs> sir if it works out write it down i'll be happy to yeah. tell everybody else about right. it so <laughs> this is okay we're, we're at the two hour mark and i have to throw this in there because this was really good okay okay um i got the and i, I you'll understand why i tagged this at the very end here because i think it's very pertinent to the idea of are women your problem are they not your problem what's how do we get to where we're at right guys will always right. say you know, wow, you know things would be a lot different if guys would just take responsibility and things were you know they, women are the way they are because men are the way they are women love that too by the way i don't want to just blame that on um on uh on men because men will usually use that as a write-off like well we just need to man up right that's all you're saying is you're just explaining to me that you, you, that's the that's the uh, appropriate you know responsibility men masculine responsibility way of telling me man up that's pretty mm -hmm. much what it is. but 
you guys are the result of at least two generations of a feminine primary social order telling you to man down. <laughs> that's that's why this is confusing, and that's why this seems novel. It's not novel. <laughs> I've been doing this for 20 years. Trust me, it is not a new thing. <laughs>